Hi guys, good morning. I was watching a funny video the other day and um, I was cracking up. I was laughing really hard because the person when they started the video, they were like turned around like looking over here and then the video starts and they go, oh, oh hey guys, how are you? Because um, they were pretending to be surprised that their friends were in the class, in the, in the space with them on the computer. And it just made me laugh so hard. Um, and I was going to do that just now, just to be funny. Um, but I just thought that was funny. Hi, good morning. Buenos dias, mis amigos. How is everybody? <clears throat> I have kind of a froggy throat. <clears> throat> so I'm going to remember. And I'm going to use my elbow <clears throat> to clear my throat. I also have a, a nice coffee here so that I can keep it nice <clears throat> and clear. Anyways, good morning, friends. Today's a brand new day, isn't it? Um, we had a, a meeting yesterday and it was kind of sad. Um, and things are still sad, but I feel really good about things moving forward, right? That things are going to get better. Um, because I know that we are all going to put in the work to help make them better. Um, but that means that we have to keep the conversation going. We have to keep talking about things and we have to keep learning about feelings and love and kindness and, um, and taking care of each other, all of those wonderful things. Um, so we're going to do that. And that's going to be, that's going to be our work together, right? To help make that happen. Before I get too far, I'm going to say this again for my friends in Spanish. Buenos dias, mis amigos. Yo estoy aquí otra vez con ustedes. Um, estuve diciendo que, que aunque yo siento un poquito mejor hoy, um, nuestro trabajo duro no ha terminado. Estamos empezando, ¿ok? Y que tenemos que tomar este tiempo de hablar siempre. Sobre el amor, amistad, como ser amable con nuestros compañeros de ayudar lo demás. Uh, tenemos que observar las cosas y escuchar muy bien. Y seguimos trabajando en eso cada día. Si estamos juntos o si están solitos o con sus adultos, no importa. Es un trabajo que nosotros vamos a seguir haciendo, ¿ok? Porque nosotros somos los mejores. Yeah, we're the best, guys, and this is what we do, and this is why we're good at it. Anyways, yesterday was day one. It was the first day of June. I'm wondering, what day is today? <clears throat> if yesterday was one, ayer era uno, what day is today? ¿Qué día será hoy? What number comes after one? One, two. Yes. So some of us are going to look at that number two and we're just going to know. Some of the rest of us are going to have to count, right? So here we go. One, two. And we got it. That's it. Let's touch our head twice. One, two. Let's touch our nose twice. One, two. Let's touch our ears because we're good listeners. We're going to do it two times and we're going to say it in Spanish. Uno, dos, right? And let's touch our mouths because we are really good at talking about stuff. Here we go. Uno, dos. Super job. It's so easy when the number is small, huh? I want to talk about the calendar a little bit. <coughs> I'm going to talk to some of your parents in just a little bit, some of your grown-ups, today, tomorrow, and Friday, or er, Thursday. On Thursday, day four, let's count how many days we have. One, two, <clears throat> two days left. We've got a couple really special things happening. We're going to do our Google Meet. Vamos a hacer el Google Meet where I would love to see you guys. Uh, I think teacher Scott and teacher Catherine are gonna join us too, which is gonna be so fun. Um, so we'll do Google Meet on Thursday the 4th at 11.30 in the morning. And at four o'clock in the afternoon, we're gonna have our car parade. So you guys are gonna be busy at home making signs and getting ready to share your love for our community. Vamos a tener un desfile de carros este día, el día 4. Y yo quiero que ustedes sigan en la casa haciendo cartas para tener en tu mano que dice cuánto te amas nuestra comunidad, ¿ok? Because it's a time to celebrate our community and our hard work. Es el tiempo de celebrar nuestra comunidad y nuestro um, trabajo duro que estamos haciendo cada día. Okay, that's day four. 
And then there's no school Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. And then things kind of just start slowing down. Y después las cosas empiezan a terminar. Um, I will do a video on day eight, day nine, and day 10. And then day 11, we are all done. And it is school time. Uh, summertime, not school time, summertime. And some of you are going to be going off to kindergarten. And some of you guys are going to come back to Head Start. So it's really exciting. So much change is happening. And that's really kind of fun. We like change. Change means things are moving on. It can feel a little scary at first, but it's actually a good thing. All right. El cambio puede sentir un poquito... Um, ¿Cuál es la palabra? Porque no es medioso, pero se puede sentir... Uh, nos, nos, nos hace sentir mal de vez en cuando, porque nos asusta. It scares us, right? Um, pero el cambio está bueno, porque significa que nuevas cosas vienen. It means new things are coming. All right, I'm going to make an X on the one. I'm going to make an X on the two. All right, so tomorrow we will know that it is day three, because the two is crossed off. All right. Yay! Okay, what comes next? It's weather time. It is beautiful over here. I don't know what it's like at your house, but it is beautiful here. Let's sing our song. Do we want to sing a weather song or do we want to do days of the week? Let's do days of the week first. Where's my mente? I have a meeting with Sammy in a little bit, so I'm like, oh, I'm trying to think about it. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Of the week. Yay! Super job! Snap it up if you can snap. If not, practice, practice, practice. All right, now let's do the weather. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather out today? Reach in your bag. Rummage around. Pull out your binoculars. Now, slow and steady. I want you to walk to your window and I want you to look out your window and I want you to see what is the weather today. Go ahead, take care of that. I sure hope that the weather looks like this for you guys. This is beautiful and sunny and blue skies with a little bit of clouds. Como pareció a su casa? How did it look at your house? Did it look the same as it looks here at my house? I don't know. You guys, I am a mess today. Yo soy un desastre. What's going on, Teacher Nicole? It's a new month. Es un nuevo mes. And I forgot to do a new calendar. Because we want to do a new calendar for this month. So here's what I'm going to do. Because I made a mistake. Oops. And my daughter Amelia, she took my markers. Ella llevó mis marcadores adentro de la casa. So I don't have anything to write with except for one crayon and one pen that doesn't even work. And I lost my crayon. But when I lost my crayon, guys, oh, cool. I'm, I'm excited. I lost my crayon and I looked under the table. And when I looked under the table, I found a marker. Encontré un marcador abajo de la mesa. So, whew. You say crisis averted. We're good. Okay, so we're gonna remember. I'm gonna use this orange one today and I'm gonna put a smiley face over the sunny, but we're gonna make a new map. We're gonna make a new graph for this month because this, that's last month. This is old news. We want new news, um, but we have one day of sunny for this month, okay? Look at me. I'm already slacking. I'm already in summer mode. My brain's already on vacation. I'm trying to not do a graph, teacher Nicole. All right. Well, let's see if we can get it back together. What are we going to do? Do we check in? 
checked in. Check in. Did we do calendar? Yep, calendar's all done. Did we do the days of the week? Days of the week all done. Did we do weather? Weather all done. Now I'm doing this because it's like our check, remember? We do that check time. Um, so I'm like making a little check mark on my list that's in my head. So it's story time. I really want to practice a brain break today. I feel a little bad that I didn't do a brain break yesterday because brain break would have been perfect yesterday. Um, so today, let's do a good brain break. Um, but what do we want to do? And I need to put these things down on paper so you guys can look at them too, right? Because we would have our dragon's breath. We would have our flower breath. We have our unicorn breath. Right? Uh, volcano. Our new one, the hot chocolate. And our lotus breath. I think we're going to do lotus breath today because I feel like the lotus is such a beautiful flower and it's a beautiful day and they are probably opening up in ponds everywhere. Entonces vamos a hacer el respiro del lotus. Es un tipo de flor. And I need to find a picture of it and I need to show it to you. It's a good idea. Okay, maybe I'll, I'll do that when I'm editing. Cuando lo hago el video en el computadora, tal vez lo puedo poner un lotus flower aquí, un cuadradito. And then I'll be like, look at the lotus. And you guys are gonna be like, wow, she's so cool. Look at the videos she makes. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, lotus breath. Put your hand together. Your fingertips are together. A lotus breath, a lotus flower opens up and it's a beautiful flower and it looks like this. So that's how we're gonna do our breath. Okay, so you want your hand up, but I'm gonna show it to you this way so you can see it, okay? So here we go, we're gonna start with our thumb. Breathe in, out. Breathe in, out. Breathe in, out. Breathe in. Out. Breathe in. Out. And one last breath. Awesome job. Super good. That's hard to do. And it looks weird. Parecía bien extraño, ¿verdad? Okay, story time. I want to redo this story. Um, it's not like a normal story that I would read. This is a story that was in my daughter's story books. Um, we've got a lot of books in my house because we read a lot of stories here. Um, <clears throat> but uh, it's a book somebody gave us. And we're talking a lot about community. Porque nosotros estamos hablando sobre la comunidad, ¿verdad? And um, <clears throat> we talk about like how our community is so amazing. Like think about our classroom just by itself, right? We have skin tones of every color, el color del piel, de todo el, el arco iris, ¿verdad? We have beautiful blacks and browns and, and olives and whites and just all these amazing colors in our classroom. That makes us different, but we're all kids, so we're all still the same. And then we have friends from all over the world. Nosotros tenemos amigos de todo el mundo. We have friends from Portland that are born and raised here. We have friends that have come from Africa. We have friends that have come, whose families have come from Guatemala and they've come from Guatemala. We have friends whose um, <clears throat> families have come from Mexico. I've come from Colombia, right? We have so many different countries that our families have come together and um, they come together and we're all in one classroom together and it's beautiful and I love it. And I think that that makes our community one of the best communities because it's so rich in culture and, and just amazingness. So when I saw this book today, when I was looking for stories, I wanted to read it. And just real quick in Spanish for my friends, lo que estuve diciendo es que nuestro 
clase tiene personas de tantos diferentes áreas y eso es que hace nuestra comunidad de ser tan fuerte porque tenemos la experiencia de un montón de cosas y me encanta. Ok, this is called Love is All Around Portland. Love is All Around Portland. Who's it written by? It's written by Wendy Silvano and it's illustrated by Oh no, Joanna Serzunajowska. It's not a name that I can pronounce very easily, but it is beautiful. Jowska. She might be Polish. Okay. Love. <clears throat> Let me get this camera right. Come on, guys. We don't want to see Deidre Nicole. We want to see the book. Love is a feeling that comes from inside. Everyone feels it, it can't be denied. But how do we know that it's there? What's the clue? How can we see it? Just what can we do? Love's all around if you just pay attention. In people, in places too many to mention. Go look at the park, on the street, at the mall, You'll see love all over. It's big and it's small. These guys love riding their bicycles. These guys love running. These guys love saying hello to everybody. This guy loves being in a hot air balloon. These guys love music. These guys love dancing. These guys love each other. Look at these cats. These cats even are loving. All around Portland, in cars and on trains, in taxis and buses, on boats and on planes, in Healy Heights, Beaumont, and Laurelhurst too, you'll find there is love that will come into view. And this guy is fishing on the Columbia River, it says. There's a school bus, people driving in the car. Right there on the lawn in Washington Park is a mom with her babe hearing songs of a lark. She swaddles him and cuddles him and kisses his ear. That surely is love. It's perfectly clear. And daddies love their babies the same and so do grandmas and grandpas and aunties and uncles. Right, here's this guy with his Grandpa. At a store in Hillsdale, a girl gets a bear. She squeezes him, squishes him, ruffles his hair. It's clear that she loves him. She's smiling and bright. She tucks him in softly and gently at night. She loves her teddy bear. The same little girl, the very next day, sees a friend at her school who is too sad to play. So she sits down beside him and listens and shares, making sure that he knows there's someone who cares. Look at that, guys. She's sharing with her sad friend, even though it's her new favorite bear. Now the boy who was sad feels much better, you see, so he runs home all happy to play with Maggie. They romp and they frolic, they fetch and they run. It's certain he loves him. He, they're having so much fun. Okay, so he was really sad in class and his friend gave him the bear and that made him feel better. And now that he feels better, he's sharing that love with his dog. Él siente mejor y ahora está compartiendo el amor. An officer in Richmond who helps change a flat. A fireman in Homestead who rescues a cat. And this is Moda Center. King, that's where the Blazers play. The home team that makes the crowd cheer and clap. Each moment has love like a gift you unwrap. There's a father who sits at the table each night, helping out with the homework to get it just right. He's tired and busy, but that's love, you know. 
giving up what you want to help someone else grow. Now in this picture, it's the little boy and his daddy. But in my house, it's the mommy with the dad, with the kid helping on the homework. And in other houses, it's the grandma or grandpa helping, or it can also be the aunties or uncles, right? It's not always just your mom and dad that help because we have lots of people in our families that love each other, that love us, right? And that will help us. It's not only people who show love, it's true. Just come to the creatures that play at the zoo. The polar bear tumbles and rolls with her cub, and when they are finished, she gives him a rub. Entonces, no solamente son uh, humanos que están amables, también son los animales. Oh, this is my favorite. Where else is there love? Have we looked all around? I think we've forgotten love grows from the ground. In the mountains and gardens and parks you will find that the earth shows us love of all shapes and all kinds. And I love this one because I put a lot of love into my garden. Yo pongo mucho amor en mis jardines. And the earth shows me that it loves me back by bringing me nice flowers and yummy vegetables. Wherever you look, love comes into sight. It's there in the morning, it's there in the night. But all throughout Portland, the best love you'll find is a love that is gentle and selfless and kind. Look at that, her shirt says number one grandma and she's made some like either cupcakes or maybe some cinnamon muffins. So the best thing is when you think about others, which is what selfless means and you're kind. It's the love found at home. It shows up each day in things people do and things people say. There's no greater love, I can tell you it's true, than the love of your family, especially for you. Oh, I just wanna say, the love of your family is the best love, but you can also find that love all over your community, por toda su comunidad, puede encontrar el amor, but also in the classroom pero también adentro del salón, right? I love you guys so much. And even though we're not together in the classrooms, I'm making these videos for you every single day because I want to still be there with you, right? Because I love you guys. And, and I want to help us become beautiful, kinder, and more loving people, even better than we already are because that's what we do. That's how we are. That's what we're a community for. Por eso nosotros somos una comunidad. ¿verdad? Porque podemos compartir todo el amor, podemos compartir las cosas que nosotros sabemos con lo demás. Nosotros también podemos aprender de lo demás. We can also learn from each other, right? It's not all about teaching. Sometimes it's just about listening and learning. Um, you guys, let's spread the love today. Let's spread the kindness today, okay? Vamos a compartir el amor y, y, um, uh, y la amistad. So, for our parade, para nuestro desfile que tenemos aquí de los carros del día 4, for the 4th, I want you to help me show that love. Yo quiero que ustedes me ayuden a mostrar este amor. I want you to take a piece of paper, toma un papel, oops, I just, I just broke a paper. But grab a piece of paper, any size, no importa el tamaño, puede ser bien grande, bien chiquito, can be really big, it can be really small. And I want you to draw me a picture that shows your love for your community. Yo quiero que ustedes me muestran un dibujo que es el amor y la amistad para nuestra comunidad. Okay, it could be a whole bunch of people. Puede ser personas juntos, mano a mano. Puede ser your animal. It could be your dog. It could be your cat. Whatever you want. Okay, just show me the love. Muéstrame el amor. All right, guys, we are all done for today. I can't wait to see some of you guys in video chat soon. Uh, Thursday, 
we'll see each other in a Google Meet. Then we'll see each other at the parade. But I also have tomorrow and the next day. Bye, guys. Have a great day. See you later.